Hi everyone. I've had a couple of different requests based off of some of my other videos that I show you guys how to make a double pass uh, two color paracord bracelet. What we're talking about here is just for reference this is a single pass bracelet with the cobra head knot. I've shown this to you in another video. This on the other hand is a double pass bracelet. You can see that it's pretty much twice as wide as a single pass is and the other difference is that I use the 5 8 buckle which you can see here as opposed to the 3 8 buckle which I have on my single pass bracelets. It takes a little bit more work but it's a real nice looking bracelet nice and wide. Uh, it takes a fair amount of cord if you're doing a 9 inch bracelet you're going to need at least 16 feet of cord in order to make it uh, if you're doing double pass that's roughly twice what it takes for a single pass not quite but roughly so what I've got here is I've got two 8 foot pieces of paracord one orange and one black and I'm going to show you how to make the bracelet couple of things that you're going to need. I use a needle nose pliers in order to pull a cord through uh, some of these buckles which can be kind of difficult sometimes. I have a trauma shears which is what I'll use to cut the cords to length. I've got a marine marlin spike knife. This uh, helps a little bit later in the process when I'm trying to tuck the cords underneath the loop. And then I've got a lighter which I'm going to use to fuse the ends of the cord. So first thing I did was I measured out eight feet of cord on each of them. Then what I'll do is cut these to length. I'm just going to take the ends off these because I actually already have them cut to length, but I did want to make them uniform. There we go. Now I'm going to light the ends. All I'm really trying to do here is fuse the end so it doesn't come unraveled when I work with it. Be careful here so that you don't burn your fingers because that plastic is very hot and if you burn your fingers, take my word for it, it's very, very uncomfortable. So, first thing that I'm going to do is secure the cord down at this end. And note what I'm doing is just securing it underneath this washer. As I said in my other videos, you don't need to have this fixture. I've got some videos up on this fixture, but it does make things an awful lot easier when you're making these. If you notice on the right hand side here, a little bit hard to see, but I've measured out how long the resulting bracelet is so I know that right now I am making a 7 inch 2 pass paracord bracelet based on this length. Next thing that I do is go up to the other end and I'm going to pass one end of the cord going up through the bracelet and one end of the cord going down through the bracelet. Buckle. And now it's a matter of just pulling it through. There we go. Notice what I've done is on my fixture I've got male and female end of the buckle on top. I got the male 
end on the top and the female end on the bottom. So now, this is exactly the same as with my single pass bracelet. What I'm going to do is, the end that comes up is going to form the outside of the bracelet. If you notice here, the end that came up was the red, and the end that came down was the, uh, was the gray. Better example is here. And that comes up is the yellow, and that uh, comes, goes down is the red. So this is what the single pass will look like. I go underneath, I make the knot, make sure that you pull this snug, and then just pull this knot tight. And I go back through here, pull this snug, always make sure that the end that's coming out goes underneath pull this snug one more pull that snug you can see that bracelet already starting to take shape with the orange on the outside and the black on the inside I'm gonna finish knotting down at the other end and then we'll pick up the video at that point okay now I have knotted down to within about two or three knots of the um, of the bottom buckle and so now I can release the cord from underneath here and then both of these core pieces are going to go through here from the top down with the orange one Here's the black one. Now, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trap these as I tie my next loop. See, they're underneath here. And so now the next loop goes underneath. And then the black cord comes around. Snug this down, and now I'm just going to pull on these so that they're nice and snug. And this gives me the length of the bracelet. You see there? Pull this tight, make a couple more loops. It's really important that you make sure that you're tying these um, with the same tension because if you don't, you're going to end up with an uneven looking bracelet. Now you see I've got down to the uh, edge of the buckle and now what I'm going to do is the piece that comes up, I'm going to run through this side of the buckle and the piece that, that's going down and then the piece that's coming up is going to end up going in the other side of the buckle. So, Remember, the piece that comes up is going to form the outside, so this will have a black outside, and the piece that's going down will form uh, the inside. You'll see how that looks. This one is going to be coming up. This is where the needle nose pliers comes in handy.
getting this back through the buckle can be one of the, probably the most frustrating part of doing this. There we go. Now I'm going to buckle this again. On the bottom here, you can see how I've trapped that in, that the uh, loose ends. Also, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this and burn it because I don't need the additional bulk Now what we do is take the knot and repeat. I mentioned the one that's coming up, in other words the black, is going to be the outside and the orange is going to be the inside. So you tie this first knot, get this nice and tight here. As important as consistency was on the way down, it's even more important on the way up otherwise this bracelet is not going to look right. So this comes out from the bottom and goes underneath. This is going to go here because you have to make sure that these knots and the ropes fall into the right place. this working our way back up. This goes underneath and this goes back through. And then this comes underneath, and this goes back through. You can see how the pattern is starting to take shape. Tighten everything consistently. And I'm going to continue this pattern working my way to the top, and I will see you at the top.